Inside this is the most accurate thermometer in the world. It took a team of three people six years to build and cost more than one and a half million pounds. It tells the correct temperature to the nearest thousandth of a degree. If things proceed as planned, it will help us redefine how we measure temperature. Heating things up can dramatically affect the way things behave. So can cooling them down. In this case, the temperature of these metals determined whether they were attracted to this magnet. Knowing the temperature of something is important for all kinds of reasons, from our own personal comfort and well-being to all sorts of industrial processes to monitoring climate change. We can all sense temperature and in fact we all carry around our own standard temperature, the temperature of our bodies, that's about 37 degrees Celsius. And we're very sensitive to temperature changes in the range from about 5 degrees Celsius to about 45 degrees Celsius. But when things are hotter than this, they just feel hot. And when they're colder than this, they just feel cold. For science, we need to go beyond our limited sense of temperature. But our sense of hot and cold does give us an intuitive appreciation of a key idea in physics. All the objects around us are made of atoms, and those atoms are in constant, ceaseless motion. They are endlessly jiggling and temperature is simply a measure of the average energy of their motion. The job of a good thermometer is to give a reading that's precisely related to that atomic motion and nothing else. Now that's easy to say but it's actually very difficult to do in practice and that's why I'm so ridiculously proud of what we've achieved here. I can't show you the inside of this thermometer because opening it up would damage it but I've got a plastic replica here and you can see internally it's just a, a hollow sphere. When in use the sphere is filled with argon gas and carefully temperature controlled so that the gas and the sphere are at the same temperature within a few millionths of a degree. A small speaker emits sound into the sphere and it bounces around through the argon gas and is detected by a microphone. From this, we can work out the speed of sound in the argon gas. And this tells us the average speed of the argon molecules. Finally, because we know the mass of argon molecules, we can work out their average kinetic energy, and hence the temperature. What makes this thermometer special is that it doesn't need to be checked against other thermometers. It tells us the temperature directly from fundamental physical principles. You can see that this isn't the kind of thermometer that you can stick in your mouth or use like a normal thermometer, but that's not what it's designed for. It's designed to check other thermometers. It's designed to check that they're reading correctly.